What is up, you guys? We are live from Radio Row, Los Angeles, a special Super Bowl episode of Unsportsmanlike Conduct. Brian Gab and a very special guest, Annie Agar. Thank you for joining uh, us. Of course. Thanks this is for so me. exciting. Um, we don't really have like a structured show. But yeah. we're here to have planned. a good time. That's we're all that We're here matters. to have a good time. We're here to talk some football and we're here to make fun of Gab. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were, we were dissing oh, on the Browns a little bit ago. I mean, I mean <sighs> you got to. At least we have Listen, teams that actually This is what I was going to say. You guys say, you can say what you want about my team. Just know that anything you say won't hurt me more than my own team already has. <laughs> See, <laughs> that, she said That's that before. That's the trick. She said that before, and every time I think of, like, oh, what could be worse than being a Browns fan? Like, There's they no, already know that. They you do. guys already know that. Yeah. We're th every oh, maybe joke. Lions. Do, what do we think? Which fan? It's got to be the Lions. It's worse, right? I More mean, painful? You don't yeah, have as probably. many. They don't have as many jokes. Like, every single joke is like, ha-ha, Cleveland yeah. Browns fans, yeah. losers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel See, like the I only difference, nothing. the only difference with that is like with Browns fans, it's like funny to make fun of them. Lions fans, it's just, just more pathetic. like it's just sad. Oh, sorry, you like feel I bad. feel bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, ironically, both the teams have <laughs> a former player <laughs> in the Super Bowl. Uh, wow. Yeah. Pain. Honestly, for a Browns fan, it's not a good time. You have the Bengals. Yep. In our division, in our state, yeah. taking over. Yep. And then you have Odell Beckham Jr. Wow. who wow. <laughs> left us, and he's probably you know, going to get a ring. What's wor What's the worst thing about that is he could have gone to the Bucks or the Packers. Yep. Both teams. So he wouldn't have been mm -hmm. playing in the Super Bowl. No. Nope. And, and before, we thought maybe all three of them right. could have been easily. Oh, yeah. Now he, he, he looks like a brilliant man because mm -hmm. he picked the right team. But and everything's so, yeah. like, split when it comes to him yeah. out in Cleveland. Like You either love him or you <sighs> hate him. You, really? How, yeah. what, is, what do the fans think of it? I mean, Okay, so there's like two separate parties right now. Okay. Oh there God. Are, it's like politics. Here we go. There are people that are like, okay, Odell, like go out, do your thing. Like that's yeah. cool. Like we're happy for you because we know like we, were, like, we weren't going to use you. Yeah. We weren't right. using you. It wasn't good for anybody. And then there's the Baker Bros. Oh. oh. There's Baker Bros. Okay. So there's two separate parties and that's how they are right now. I've seen those parties on Twitter. Uh -huh. I've seen those comments. Oh. Yeah. They and it goes back and forth because if, oh, if OBJ had a great game, they'd be like, Okay, so wait, so it was OBJ's fault? Yeah. Like, was, was oh, Baker, of course, of course. It wasn't Baker, yeah. But mm -hmm. all I know, at the end of the game, no one's going to lose more than the Browns fans from this one. Yep. Well, two yep. L's right Pain. there. Pain. You guys are used to it, so Pain. it shouldn't, it shouldn't su be It must suck for the bad. state of Ohio, too. Just that, that it's Cincinnati that got in, not Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah, because you know uh, Cincinnati's in um, Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> What? No, it's not. It's, it's really it's not, not. But it's not. It's not. It's not. It's I'm like right on the border. Their airports in Kentucky. Like everything that they do. Is, is it like, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Half Kentucky. My like my well, running. Well, then Cincinnati's not. My running joke with Gab is like everything east of or west of Pennsylvania is just like not Doesn't a real exist. place. <laughs> like Ohio is fake. Totally, <laughs> totally fake. fake. <laughs> it's not a real place. And people choose to live there. People do, like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I, right. I feel more. I feel that more with Iowa than Ohio. Yeah. Iowa, there's nothing. I mean, like Ohio, you have three major cities. Cedar Point. You have Cedar Point. Right. Yep. Cedar Point's a good time. Ohio State, great place to yeah. go. Not mm -hmm. that I'm biased at all about that. It's just a great school. It's a great time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Ohio, thriving. Yeah. Thriving right now. Not, it's still not a real place in my book. Yeah. <laughs> Until I actually set foot on Ohio soil, just straight off, not, not real. real. <laughs> um, all right. We've all had busy weeks this week. Mm -hmm. How is your week going? Very, very busy. Yeah. This yeah. I did not. I didn't really know what to expect. This wasn't it. <laughs> That's, I'm just <laughs> gonna throw that out there. I knew there'd be. You know, I knew the setups would be here. Vanduul, obviously, great, great setup we got going on here. Um, but I didn't expect this many people in. And plus, we haven't seen this many people because of COVID. Right. right. So yeah, it's yeah. like an, I don't know if it was a sensory overload because I it was yeah. it was wild. And then add that to the fact that they're all people that I've talked to on Twitter or I you mm -hmm. know I I randomly and then you put the face to it. Yes. That's the hard. That that's the hardest part. Is like yeah, I've seen you on Twitter. Yeah. I've interacted with you on social media. I know what your what you your are, what avatar you are, what you looks do. like and stuff like that. Right. But then seeing that in person, it's like. That could be you. Yeah. Not 100% sure. Don't be a weirdo. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 And it's because then sometimes you think you know them. Like, yeah. you, you've talked to them so yeah. much and you think it's a weird feeling. I've learned that um, people are a lot shorter in real life than they yep. say they yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> it's a roster height or whatever they say. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, That's usually yeah. how it goes, though. Yeah. Um, it, but like, it's been good. It's been good. It's been, I mean, it's been busy. Yeah. I can't. 
get over just how much just bopping around and everything. It flies by too because I th it, it's beautiful outside. By the way, first yeah. of all, it's oh, like 80 yeah. degrees and sunny. Mm -hmm. I haven't experienced We're a second of it this freezing whole week. Our behinds off. And yeah, then. it's absolutely freezing in here. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to go this quickly because I thought we're here from like 9 a.m. to 4 every day. Right. It's going to take forever. And it's like it's done like that. Yeah. Our day's already over. Yeah. Right. Like, right? <laughs> after this, we're, we're done. We're ready to start drinking. We're going. Let's That's go. it. Yes, it's we Friday. Are. We're it is Friday. Friday. starting it off. Okay. So what was your like favorite interaction so far? Uh, That's your, a like, great question. Other than you guys. Yeah. I was, I was, I was about to say, oh, aside yes, from us. Right, yeah. Obviously. Um, That's a great question. I love Ron Rivera. I did a... Um, uh, he was like my first interview when I got the job at Bally. Yeah. And uh, just the, the most genuine guy. I went, so I, <laughs> I asked him what he wanted to do for the interview. Cause I'm like, let's do this thing where maybe you're comfortable and I'm not as comfortable, Okay. but it'll make yeah. you, it'll make for a good interview. And he's like, well, I love to golf. So I said, okay, let's find Washington DC. He's probably got a nice golf course somewhere <laughs> we find. He's like, no, 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 let's, I'm, I'm at Pebble beach this week. So I was like, oh, oh excuse me. Oh, gotcha. Go. Okay. I'm a terrible golfer, by the way. Absolutely okay. yeah, miserable. No. I go for no the drinks. No patience either. Like, yeah, no, mm -hmm. no patience. I mean, yeah, I no, don't like it. So, uh, but he was great. And he he was like super helpful and yeah. you know he's a coach obviously so he coached me and it was just great and so he was here I think it was yesterday and I talked to him for a while and his his daughter was here and uh, yeah just the coolest guy but I think as far as like Justin Herbert's a lot taller than I thought oh my God, that's what so I said yesterday I knew he was tall yeah, I mean, yeah, but, but like not you read, that tall. you read the numbers like on like the rosters and stuff. And you're like, oh yeah, that's tall. But then you see it in person, and you're like, that's oh, that's yeah. tall. Like you saw him, you'd maybe think, hey, maybe three yeah. point shooter in the NBA. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Absolutely. Other than the like the little nice like white boy collared. Did you see what he right. had on? He yeah. like this lime <laughs> yeah. green quarter zip. And <laughs> I no. said, I actually said to our producer, Rob, I was like, it looks like he literally just hopped <laughs> off of, like, like the, the college golf. campus. <laughs> yeah, like, that was After good. his frat, yeah, yeah. But, like, the height thing, we had Michael Vick here. Yeah. He's listed as six foot tall. Oh, yeah. We, I, he's short. I was looking him in the eye. Oh. You, that's really? classic, like, 5'10", <laughs> push short. it to six feet. Saquon, yeah. I also think, looked really short. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Derrick Henry, hilarious guy, by the way. That would that may have been my favorite interaction, <laughs> strictly because of how awkward it was. Because you'd ask him something, yeah, and he'd just kind of sit there and look at you like, "What mm. did you just say?" Like I'm not speaking English to you. Yeah, and then he'd answer it, and everything would be fine. Yeah. But it was so funny, and I think he knows it. Like he he plays into the awkward right. silence and everything. He was really cool. But um, who's oh Brandon Marshall was here too. Huge. He walked. Listen, he walked I by know. us, and we were like. I can't what? speak. I'm stunned. <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. That was me. She was too stunned to speak. <laughs> she, she turns around and literally bends over the ledge that's like behind the set, and she was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I I'm love it. Kidding. Yeah, he's he's insanely like he'd walk into a room and you'd know. Yeah. That yeah. He's in the well, room. I I mean, from like behind our set, I spotted him all the way down the yeah. the hall. I was like. Is that Brandon Marshall? Yeah. <laughs> like he's yeah. he's somebody that like you see and like you see mm -hmm. you know who he is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like he just he walks in the room and like he takes over like. He, oh, that's just hundred percent. That's just 100%. him. And Gab, it, I mean, <laughs> she lost her mind. <laughs> you guys. He took over her. That's for <laughs> <Right>. sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, it. do you guys watch? Do you watch Criminal Minds? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Finally, someone that watches it. Uh, um, what's his name? Oh, David Rossi, mm -hmm. Agent David. Mm -hmm. He was here. The actor what? was here. That was so cool. I fangirled over that so hard. Today? And everybody's like, oh, yeah, uh, no, it was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. He was here Wednesday. Huh. I got a picture with him and everything. Oh, that's awesome. And nobody from my work knew what I was talking about. Come on. Nobody watched Criminal Minds. I was so let down. And there's like, I was oh, okay. so. I think I fangirled over him more than, like, Joe Montana was walking around, mm -hmm. and I freaked out over Agent David Rossi. Yeah. I, why? I, mean, I don't know. I, you, I can't explain it. you know? Can't explain yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, uh -huh. it's been, it's interesting. It's fun. And it's cool because these, they, it's not like, you know, when you're walking around, you see these guys with fans and there's yeah. fans are circling them. Media is a little bit better, I think. Yeah. So you can at least let these right. guys kind of be comfortable and mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not like, there was they're a not big getting swarmed and stuff. Russell Wilson today. Yes. Yes. I was there included. Was. He's short. <laughs> yeah. He is short. I was included. Yeah. Was Sierra here? I would. Do we like what not. they, what did they wear last night? I didn't see her. Uh, they looked uh, incredible. Yeah, they did. They, so really good. they looked incredible. She was in like an all black. Mm -hmm. oh. Like a nice little Their slip. photos? Yep. <laughs> Nothing will top so that dress. She Was it the Met Gala? She mm -hmm. wore that green. Yeah, with his, like, his jersey mm. on it. So good. Phenomenal. She's so unbelievable. Good. They both are. Really, like, together, like, straight up power, power couple. couple. Mm -hmm. But um, speaking of Joe Montana, tomorrow night, we got a big 
party. We have a party tomorrow night. Party. You're coming, right? Yeah. Okay. You can I would not miss this party. Joe Montana is going to be there, which is the the segue is he really? into yeah, that. I didn't know Heck that. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. That's going to be uh, take a picture go. there. There we go. You know, okay. He wasn't the most important in the room. I can't right. Right. David Rossi. I can't <laughs> promise Rossi's going to be there, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll settle for Joe Montana. If he okay. is like the backup plan Joe Montana, I think that's I think that's good. But I mean, Wiz Khalifa is going to be performing. I know you guys yeah. saw him yeah. yesterday, yeah. but yeah, it was so funny. It was so funny too because there were like I don't know, maybe 50 people out here. Yeah. And uh and they were like I feel like he they didn't appreciate his song uh, yeah, as much as we did. Well, how old no, were they? No, it was not. It, there was a layer like, ten year old. It, exactly. Was but there exactly. were a couple. The ten year old liked it because he was from Pittsburgh. Oh. Yeah, okay. Steelers. Mm -hmm. Okay. But still, he okay. might have been the only one. He may have been. <laughs> when you don't he know, when one. you don't know the lyrics that yeah. Yeah. Wiz Khalifa, like you're just not not the right. Too young for you, bro. Audience. Too young. Well, I think I'm glad he. <laughs> I know he wanted to do it earlier. I think, but people are still doing their interviews. So yeah. you just heard um, Wiz Khalifa just pop in. Tomorrow is gonna be my third time seeing Wiz Khalifa within like two days because we went out and that's where he was. Wow. Come on. I'm not even kidding. What the heck? You are kidding. You miss out wow. on so many yeah. things. He just is addicted to the FanDuel family. Right. He loves it. We're great. Did Why wouldn't he be? He, po he posted on Instagram. Did he? He was like, I won't say the caption, but he said something about <laughs> it. He was like, like it was something like oh, messed around funny. and went on a podcast or something. Stop. Oh, yeah, so it was funny. It was really funny. That's so freaking funny. Yep. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be tomorrow's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. um, I know this probably won't get posted until tomorrow. So Saturday, if you are in the LA area, uh, Fiendo party, free general admission. Uh, the Magic Box, I believe it's called downtown LA. Uh, we'll be there. Mm -hmm. So we'll if that's there. not enough incentive, yeah, <laughs> I don't know seriously. what is. Come on. Food, Wiz Khalifa. Oh, what are the three of us? Yeah, yeah, I know. Joe Montana. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> three of us? Absolutely. This is where the, I mean, the party starts with us. Come on. Let's be that's us. I don't know. I mean, let's. should we do like picks? Our final yeah. our final week of picks? I mean. Yeah. Let's do it. That's so Here crazy. The season has flown by. I, I feel like. It is wild. All right. And it's in the extra week too. Yeah. Didn't yeah. even give me right. any kind of. I didn't get it an extra. Feel it doesn't feel at all. No. Nope. It doesn't feel different at all. Nope. But to cap off our pick segment, which has gotten a little bit of hate throughout the year. <laughs> That's fine. Like um, nothing new. Not, just another day. <laughs> just. <sighs> just another. You want to start day. off? Okay. And explain. Give a reasoning. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Where do I start? Do I do winner score? Who's gonna score? Do okay, so we'll do we'll format it this way. We'll do winner, score, MVP. Oh Gatorade like color. It. Sure. Gatorade color. I like color. it. I like it. I like it. Um okay. So I am going with thirty one to twenty. Okay. With the Rams winning and Odell Beckham wow. Jr. Super Bowl wow. MVP, oh. you heard it That here. gave you way too much joy. <laughs> gonna, that gave you way too much she's joy. She's going to freak I, out right now. If he is Super Bowl MVP, I'm going to tell you right now, burn down the town. Bye. LA she's gone. Gone. Stafford, he's, you think he'll get the MVP? No, he won't get it, but that's just that's, that's my ideal that's, world. It's, okay. it's possible. Julie, it I mean, Julian Edelman won it in you know the 2018 season. It's very possible. Season, and there was no yeah. offense in that game, and he yeah. still won it. So. Yeah. It's Sleeper possible. Sleeper MVP, maybe Aaron Donald after mm -hmm. like a bunch of mm -hmm. sacks. I could see that. Scores a touchdown off Joe Burrow. Yep. Oh I could boy. see that. I could see that. That'd be the craziest thing. I need that. Oh, boy. Oh, free here. We are expecting a lot from this game. Yeah. In terms of Gab's prediction. Okay. I chaos. Um, I am going to take the Bengals. I've been on the Bengals pretty much since the playoffs have started. I picked them to beat – the Titans, I picked them. I did actually pick them to beat the Raiders, too, but I feel like that was more of, like, a given. Mm -hmm. um, definitely be picked them to beat the Titans. Picked them to beat the Chiefs, and everybody thought I was crazy. Mm -hmm. And for a hot second, I was. It wasn't it going. It was not a great first it half. It wasn't going not in my favor. Um, the adjustments on defense. Oh, were. yeah. Solid. Second half. Solid. I am – I'm going to take the Bengals. And I think what I said was, like, 31-27. Okay. I think that sounds right. Joe okay. Burrow, MVP. Uh, Gatorade color. Did you say Gatorade color? No, I skipped over it. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay. My Gatorade color is yellow. Oh, that's what yellow. I was going to say, too. For the Rams when they win. I was Sean McVay. I was like going to say yellow, too. Yeah, but you guys because can like both make the yeah, same you picks. Can, you can pick yellow. I, yeah, I know, but. But if you're picking the Bengals, maybe do like. Yeah. Yeah, but it's usually never. The like, color of their. The team yeah. color. So Are we ruling it? Well, I'm not going to tell you because that's my pick. <laughs> Were you going to say clear? 
No, but that's a great <laughs> guess. Clear. Yeah, what if it's just, just water? Straight water, yeah. Yeah, um, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. That's a, like a that's like a little sleeper. I don't know. Right they, I go for it. FanDuel actually uh, posted the odds for that today, and Clear, I think, was like middle of the pack. Was it? I believe so. Interesting. I wonder what historically how many Super Bowls have been Clear Gatorade. Oh God. Well, there is like the what is it the glacier ice or yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's Clear. That's what I mean. It's like a white Same difference. Yeah. Same thing. Um, yeah, we're going to need, like, stats and info to get that yeah, one right. <laughs> Wait, so you don't just know that off your top yeah, of your head? No, sorry. I got nothing. Gatorade color? No, no. Um, okay, I guess I, I'm the tiebreaker here. Who yeah. am I going to? I have, I'm going to stick with my prediction that I've been making all week. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be 34, 31. Okay, so all here 31. We so we all got yes. a decent, like, decent the scoring game. The last two Super Bowls have had 31 in the score. Have they really? And the one before that was 13. So those numbers are looking good. Feeling it. Okay. okay. Yep. 34 31. I think the Rams win. I know. I'm so sorry. Ah, I do. I'm all by myself. I know. Okay, but know, this is the weird thing. There's only two options. I, from what I'm, I'm hearing, though, if the Rams win, though, I feel like it's going to be because they've absolutely dominated. Their defensive line is absolutely dominated. Yeah. This terrible Bengals O line. Yeah. So in that case, I feel like the score would be more like gaps. But I'm sticking with the 34 31. Yeah. Because I still want Cincinnati to cover. So yeah. I don't know. Um, yep. Uh, MVP. I'm probably gonna say Stafford. I I, th I think he could like OBJ could be yeah. if Stafford throws a for couple of picks. Yeah, for the rating. Yeah, you know. right, right. Also, I, we're all sleeping on Cooper Cup in this game. I feel I like. I know. Mm. Why have we forgotten about it? Because well, if he gets well, we know why Gab has forgotten about it. She's like Cooper Cup. Who? <laughs> who is like, that? Guy? Is he even gonna play? There's, guy? there's, there's only no one wide receiver. <laughs> there's no point of having him out there when Odell's out there. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So like we know why that's happening. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um. I don't know. He just won Offensive Player of the Year. I mean, and mm -hmm. I know, like, that defense is going to try to, you know, attack him just yeah. like the Rams defense is going to yeah. do with Jamar Chase. So, like, maybe this is a good time for Odell. It is. But I think it is. I think I, I like know. the connection that he's had with Stafford. I think they've, yeah, they've worked surprising. something out. I know. Because I didn't think yeah. how much they'd use him right away. In that mm -hmm. first game, I don't think he, he didn't score a touchdown the first game. But he had a couple of receptions. Yeah. And they, you, they put him in right away. It yeah. just which feels was, like it's supposed to happen. Yeah. It does. It really just feels like it. I'm very, praying for your you know, mentions if it happens, because I know you're gonna go and nuts, and people are just gonna be like, <laughs> "Oh my God, you hate you hate the Browns." I'm like, you know what? Today I do <laughs> because they're making Detroit Rams shirts in Detroit. So oh, I, I don't. I think that I saw the shirt. Yeah, no way. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, that's like those like Brady. So I think it's I, the yeah. Brady Buccaneers like split yes. jerseys. What the heck? They're the worst. I hate them. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about Brady? How do you feel about Brady? I'm sad. Are you? I really am. Yeah. Um, the I, end of an era. I knew, I knew it was coming, and that still didn't make it any easier. Yeah. Like, yeah. that Saturday when Schefter leaked it, and Brady and, like, his dad and his agent all came out and said, like, no, not yet. He still needs to make his decision Ooh, or whatever. Nice. Did you know? I, I cried did all day. Yeah. I did. And you then it, it happened, like, Tuesday. So basically, they put you through hell twice. Twice, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, that's, nice. That I, I, nice. I straight up, I straight up tweeted. I was like, if I'm gonna have to do this all over again in a couple of days, I swear to God, I'm gonna freak out. Yeah. And then I yeah. did, and well, I did. Then he did. You see, he um, he said never say never about yeah. Coming back. Yeah. Get, so get, get, get away you know what? from me we with that. We need enough drama from him. Get Between it. he and Aaron Rodgers, well, I'm done. I'm yeah. Done okay. with the drama. Perfect segue to you. Done with the drama. <laughs> What's going on over there? How is he? What's up? The, first of all, um, I I will take a razor to his head any any time. I was anytime. that was kind of going to be my my little absolutely interject. Uh, Terrible thoughts on the fit last night at the NFL. Did honors. you see my tweet? Did you happen to see yes. my tweet last? Night? Yeah. I, for those of you who didn't see the tweet, I will gladly share it because it's I, I thought it was really great funny. work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I had a few drinks by the time I did this. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. It helps. I, I, I was like, oh, Aaron Rodgers hates me, but he also hates his family too. So I'm, yeah, it's okay. I mean, he yeah. hates um, everybody. Actually, so his don't, family hates don't, him. Yeah. <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> right. Um, no, so he he looked like he had the slicked back hair, this this corduroy suit on. It was terrible. Corduroy suit, uh, full tan. I said he looked like an actor from Yellowstone, which is very fitting that he looked like a cowboy since they both lose big playoff games. That was the very that's the thing. thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, d d I don't know. He, yeah. I think it's going to be another off season full of drama. Even though I think he stays, mm -hmm. I think he stays. From what I what I've been hearing, Mike Golick agrees that he should be staying. Mike Silver, I've been talking to, they both say like, for, and they know him a lot better, obviously. Than yeah, I right. Do. I just insult him randomly on social media. Hey, um, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, all do it. It's, 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 a, it's a bond we share. Right there with you. It's a bond we share. Um, yeah. So I think uh, I think he stays. Why would you go to a conference with Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, 
Not Baker Mayfield. Um, <laughs> or, in contrast, why would you go to Patrick Mahomes, Justin yes, Herbert, exactly. Why? Derek Carr, like, yeah, okay, whatever, but, like, why would you do that? Why? And there's no way he's going to – I've seen this being floating around here and there. There's no way he's going to Tampa no. and following in Brady's footsteps. I, he already is he terrified of that comparison. You ego, think, you think he's going to do that? that? Yeah. Yeah, like he'll freak I out. So he'll I have think a mental breakdown. If he breakdown. ever did, it would be because of the ego, though. Like, yeah, like it's one of those things. Step. Like, ha ha, I can do it. You can. Yes. Maybe I'll win too because you only See, won one. Yeah. I don't know because I feel like he's he's got that like fragility when yeah. it comes to that that specifically. Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah. if he could handle that. So I don't know if I could handle that. I would just go back to the NFC North, be the best quarterback in the division, in yeah. the conference, probably mm-hmm. now in the conference now. Yeah, yeah. I d- I just don't understand why he wouldn't, but. Who knows? Who's Who's to say? Say? We're not Who's gonna. To we're say? actually. It's gonna be a repeat of last summer. We're not gonna know until li- know. the day before. That was miserable. You have for to report me. to camp. That was not good. And it kept going. And yeah, mm-hmm. there were rumors kept coming out. It's gonna be that. It's whole exhausting. Thing again. I'm you not know. even. I'm not even a Packers fan. And it's just like, why? Why are you right. doing this? Right. I know. He's also oh. going through a breakup, maybe. So that could be the look. Okay, but listen. Wait, what? Oh know. yeah, they yeah. broke up. Stop it. I promise you. Shailene. Yes. Stop it. That's what this all shows you. The when did this happen? Saying. That's what all the people are like saying. Maybe la- what, like maybe what? Like a last month week? ago? No. Yeah, I looked up. There was an article. It was January eighth. Oh no, they were going through a rough patch a month that ago. That was the rough patch. Now it's this shows how much I don't care. Think? <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> it's within. Love life. <laughs> I think it's within the, 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 like the last okay. week. Really? And which honestly might be a good thing for him because she seems like a crackpot. Oh she, really? She I seems, didn't know that. She makes her own toothpaste. She makes her own deodorant. Like she doesn't believe well, in. Well, he kind of. Is. That's, that's where he. Fitting. That's Does where he, he gets use it from. Toothpaste to do I doubt it. it. He doesn't use shampoo. It looks like. No, so. no, definitely not. Definitely not. I don't know. <sighs> Interesting. We'll well, see. I learned something new today. We'll see. I did not yeah. know they they in the in the works of breaking up. Hmm. Yeah, it's. Well, he's breaking up with his girlfriend and breaking up with his team. Listen, apparently. Aaron Rodgers just loves Two the drama. One. So. Yeah. 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 Wow. All right. Rogers. Well, Annie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. This Thanks. was a great time. This was awesome. Yeah. Not bad for our first uh, Ever, live uh, show. I know. Wow. Thank you. Did it. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And for you guys watching, uh, same old, same old on Sportsmanlike Contact on Twitter. Gab, what's your Twitter at? At uh, Gab Gowdy, G A B B 2 Bs, G O U D Y. Follow me. BSP underscore oh, 13. They're very entertaining. Please follow uh, them. Listen, if Annie's telling us we're entertaining, that must mean we're oh doing my gosh. something right. I live so. for the Twitter <laughs> clapbacks. They're my favorite. We must be doing something right. <laughs> um, so once again, live from Radio Row in Los Angeles on Sportsmanlike Conduct. We will see you guys next week. Back to normal time. Same time, same place. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, because I am now on Pacific time for good. And uh, we'll see you guys then. See ya.